Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I want to show you how you can create three really cool text effects in Canva super quickly and it makes your designs look really, really schmick, makes them look less like Canva designs and more just like you've hired a pro graphic designer and um, are just really fun to do and it just kind of stretches your creative muscle a little bit. So let's get into it. What I want to show you are these three different effects. So we've got this one here, this one here, and this one here, um, showing you how to kind of do this kind of effect here, which has actually got this more to it. I want to show you how you can create this really cool moving text effect inside Canva, which is such a great way to do ads or do social media posts that kind of stand out a little bit more. So this first effect is really cool. So you can put an image or whatever over the top of your text, but also move it around as needed. So if I do this, you can see that I'm just going inside my text. So I can pop this kind of here, 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 whatever it is. And the text is kind of still readable and um, really, really beautiful and looks super, super smick. And so what you to do this is actually so, so simple. So all you need to do, I'm going to delete this text and start from scratch. Totally. So let's create a new text box. So to create a new text box, I just press T on my keyboard and it enters in a new text box. You don't have to go over to text, add a, add, a, add a heading or anything. You can just press T and it pops up. A little time saving hack for you. So I'm going to write in some, some exciting text here. I'm going to arrange this text how I want it to be. I might do some uppercase. Um, you can do either case. I'm going to make sure it's my brand font, which it is. I'm going to make this nice and large. I'm also going to lower the spacing between the lines just a smidgen. Okay, so there's my text there. Center that. I'm going to make it white. Then I'm going to create a second version of this text. So I'm going to duplicate this. You can either just press this duplicate button or press copy and paste. So I've got two of these text boxes now. This second text box, I'm going to apply an effect to. So I'm going to hit the effects tool up here and go down to hollow. When I click, click hollow, I can either leave it like this or I can make it thicker or I can make it thinner. I kind of like somewhere around here, but it'll depend on your design. You can choose and your font actually. So you can choose what you think will work best here. I'm then going to make sure this text is perfectly lined up over the top of my original text. So now I've got two layers here. So if I go to position and layers here, you can kind of see that there's two layers over the top of each other here. Next, I'm going to insert a photo. So I'm just going to go to my folder where I save all of my brand photos into. I'm going to pick one of my photos. So let's choose this one for now. I'm going to press edit photo and I'm going to press background remover. This is obviously just a pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to do this exact part. Um, but if you do upgrade to pro, there is a link in the description where you can do that. All right. So next I'm going to do the magic part, which is bringing me up one layer. So I'm in between both of the text layers that we made. So I'm going to just grab myself here and bring myself up to plop in the middle here. And here's the cool part. So now if I move myself around, it's just looking like I'm sitting right in between the text. It's still super clear. I recommend not putting it over the top of your eyes because that's just hard to, it's not great design. Um, but if I pop myself kind of here, then I can click my mouse here and drag to select all the text and me, move it around, maybe make it a smidgen larger, maybe bring it down a little bit. And then we've got a really awesome design just like that. So now I'm going to move on to our second one, which is even easier. So this is how you can create textured text like this. So you can kind of see in here, there's little texture bits over the top of our text and it's so, so simple to do. So I'm just going to create a new design so I can start from scratch for you. I'm going to copy my background over here just so it looks nice and pretty. I'm going to then press T to enter in some new text, create some textured text. Again, just arrange my text as needed so you can do it anyway at all. You can make it nice and large. Again, make the line spacing a little bit smaller. Make my text white. Now I'm going to make this centered. So now it's time to add in my texture. All you need to do is one simple step. One simple step has got a couple of steps to it. Go to your elements and search texture. You could also search other things like grain, but I found that texture works the best. I personally like this one here that pops up, but pretty much any of these textures might be okay. You can pick any of these textures, but personally for me, I like the ones that are a little bit uh, subtle and ones that you can change the color of. So this one here is my current favorite. And so what you can see is that when I click on it, you can see this orange color. What you wanna do is two things. One, change the color of this texture to be the same color as your background. So for me, I'm gonna go for this color around here. If you wanna even use the eyedropper, you can press the plus button and go for the eyedropper tool here, hover that over your background and click click and it will change the color to your background color. Then I want you to drag this texture to be either as large as your text or as large as the full design, depending on what you want your aesthetic to look like. Either should probably work okay, depending on your graphics. But for me, because my 
background texture is already quite multicolored. I wanted to make sure that I lifted the texture to be the whole background size so that it didn't look weird when it, the texture stops. You can kind of see here, um, if I if I bring this in and stopped it here, there's kind of there's some texture here, but none up here because that's where the texture ends. Anyway, that's getting a little bit more in depth. In essence, I'm going to bring this out all the way. And you can see now that I've got some subtle texture overlaying the text. I can change this to any color I want to. I could even change this to like purple if I wanted to, but you see that doesn't have the same vibe to it. We want it to be really, really subtle um, and kind of just melding in with the background because the idea is for the text to look like it's being cut out, not that there's something sitting on top of it. We're kind of doing a bit of an optical illusion here. So that's how you create text to text. Um, you could even do this with like a tiny little bit of texture. So if I go down to like even say with this one here, if I delete this and go to this one here, I could literally just place this over the top of stuff here. I can make, make that my blue color again and it kind of just is a little bit or you could even just multiply this and drag it around and create a few different versions of it. Something more like this. Um, you could even do like a half tone kind of texture and again pop that over to the side here and do this and maybe duplicate it and pop it around here like so, or you can make it go over the whole thing. Totally up to you, but you've got some really cool ways that you can just overlay stuff on top of your text to make it have some more texture and more grid to it. The third thing that I wanted to show you is this moving version here. So I'm gonna just move this to the front so I can press play and show you what that kind of looks like again. This is really, really easy to do. It looks complicated, but it's quite straightforward once you know how. So all you need to do is insert some text. So first I'm going to press T for text again and type in here. I'm just going to leave it your paragraph text to be honest, because this is going to save us some time. Then I just duplicate that a few times over like so, and then make the text box as wide as it is to make sure that there's no text going onto um, a second line. We want it just to be all on one flat line here. Then I'm going to go to effects and press this background button here. Now the background button usually creates quite a rounded edge for your text here, but I like to just smooth that out by taking down the roundness to make it square edges rather than round edges. You'll see if I do this here, that's what that does. You can also change the spread to so how wide it is around your text. I like about here and then changing the background color to be whatever you'd like it to be. So I'm going to do maybe a white and then I'm going to make my text to being maybe blue. And then what I'm going to do is um, duplicate this as many times as I want. So I'm actually going to like rotate this like so, then maybe duplicate this by pressing either Alt or Option and drag, or I can press my duplicate button or I can press copy and paste, rotate this to being like this and maybe popping this down here. I can then insert, say if I just grab this copy of me, paste myself in here maybe put, I'm going to move myself position wise back underneath a few of these layers like so, but maybe keep my head out because I don't want my head to be covered um, like so. Okay. Now is where I apply the effects. So Canva has some great animate options. So you can see up here, I've got an animate button here, but what I want to do before I click that is actually click on the specific text box that I want to animate. I'm going to then click animate and you can see here all these different effects. Now, the one that I want us to use is this drift one simple. Hey, so I'm going to click on drift and you'll see there's a few different options here. I can choose the direction of the text. So obviously we want to do left or right. And you can also choose kind of how fast and how strong you want that to be. Um, so I'm just going to be somewhere in the middle here. I'm then going to do the exact same thing with this text box to do drift, but I'm actually going to make it go the opposite direction. So you can see here what a difference that makes. Again, I'm going to grab this one here, drift, and then make it go that same direction. Maybe make it a bit faster. And that's how you do it, folks. It's as simple as that. Um, and so enjoy that feature. It's a really great one to use for helping your social media posts to grab attention if you're doing like, a, like a, an animated one. It's a great thing to do for ads um, or it's just a great way to have a bit of fun on Canva. So have some fun. Let me know how you use this. If you use any of these features, feel free to, especially if you're posting them on, them on Instagram, feel free to tag me at whitedeardd. That's where I hang out on Instagram. I, you can, if you follow me over there, there's going to be more tips. There's also going to be more updates. I can I just share with you my stories, different updates each day, and also just share with you behind the scenes of my life and my business, which I find quite nice as a business owner, seeing the behind the scenes of other people's businesses, knowing that I am not alone. Um, so yeah, tag me if you use any of these features, because I would love to see what you create with these. Enjoy.